Hello amazing people I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel so this is a highly requested video by many people and here you go so i have divided the video into four parts in the first part we will discuss about digital capability assessment in detail like the guidelines eligibility criteria selection process etc in the second part of the video we will discuss about tcs digital assessment and the exam pattern in the third part of the video i will share my experience with you and the most frequently asked questions and the last bonus section the fourth part we will discuss some faqs and i'll share some useful tips with you i would recommend you to watch the video till the end but if you want to skip to a specific part i will add the time stamps for you if you are new to my channel please take a moment and consider subscribing it press the bell icon so you never miss an update with that being said let's quickly dive right into the video part 1 purpose digital capability assessment is a bridge between your learning and career it provides an opportunity for associates to demonstrate their talent and boost their career and compensation eligibility criteria what's the eligibility criteria so the associates who are eligible to give the exam should be a full time c1 or below grade associates with experience range of 0 to 3 years as on 31st december 2020 c2 grade associates with experience up to 3 years as of 31st december 2020 or C1 of below grade associates in any experience range with T factor greater than or equals to 3 as on 31st December 2020 let's have a look at the educational qualifications the associate should have a degree of full time B B tech M E M tech M C A M S C M S B S C and B C A and equivalent qualifications if you fall in the eligibility criteria you will receive an email update about the same the email will contain a registration link and the know me blog link registration survey fill the registration survey it will ask you some basic questions like your preferred location of exam or your preferred date so take up the survey to enroll for the assessment by sharing your preferred assessment date and location also note that the allotted assessment date and location will be based on the seat availability at the ion exam center let's have a look at the assessment selection process the process is divided into two parts the written assessment and the interview the candidate must clear the tcs digital written assessment which is an online digital proctored assessment upon clearing the associate must go through the panel interview after filling the registration survey within some time you will get another email update with admit card link in order to download the hall ticket you will require to enter your employee id as your login and password that's all about the exam details let's move to part 2 the written assessment so let's discuss the question paper pattern the question paper will contain four sections the total exam duration is 2 hours 15 minutes and the total number of questions is 52 Now let's have a look at each section one by one. Numerical capability. The allotted time will be thirty minutes, and you will have to solve fifteen questions within the given time frame. The questions will test your aptitude knowledge. It will cover questions from various topics such as time and work ratio, percentage, simple and compound interest, profit and loss, speed, distance, time, statistics, etc. you will have to be a little quick in this section otherwise you will run out of time this section is toughest among stalls so please try to attempt all the questions as there is no negative marking so much practice content is available online so start practicing today scoring good in aptitude will increase your chances of getting shortlisted also note that you can switch between the questions but not the sections You will not be able to switch between given sections. Section two, verbal ability. 
This section will have 20 questions and you will have 15 minutes to solve all of them. This section will contain fill in the blanks, choose the correct option, reading comprehension type questions. If you are unable to solve a question, please move forward. Do not waste your time on a single question. Otherwise, you will not have any time left for the reading comprehensions. Reading comprehension takes a lot of time. So I would suggest you here to first read all the questions and then go through the passage. A candidate with basic reading or communication skills will be able to clear this section. This is a section where you can score maximum and increase your overall performance in the written assessment. Section 3. Reasoning Ability this section will contain 15 questions and you will have to solve all of them within 30 minutes. This section contains logic based questions like identify the pattern or the next number in the series, relationship or age based questions. This also requires practice but you will have ample amount of time to attempt all the questions. Please note that if you submit a section before time, the remaining time of the previous section will not be added in the next section. Section 4. The Coding Section. This is the most important section. It will contain two questions and you will have one hour for this section. The first question is of easy level and the second question is of medium level. Solving good amount of fundamental questions and regular practice can help you clear this section. Once you are done, do not forget to click on the submit button and move to the next question. Read the questions calmly. Do not panic. You will have plenty of time to come up with a simple brute force approach. Choose your preferable coding language like C, C++, Java, or Python or any language of your choice. You will have plenty of options to choose from. I chose Python as I am most comfortable in it. Your strategy should be to use time wisely. Divide the time equally. So you should have 20 minutes to solve the question and 10 minutes to actually write it. Try to come up with a solution to cover all the edge cases, to pass all the test cases. Each question will have five test cases. Let's have a look at the test case distribution. A question will have two public test cases and three private test cases. So in a total, you will have to pass 10 cases of which four will be public test cases and six will be private test cases. Please note that if you make use of Python language, tabs will not work make use of space instead. Bonus. Do attempt the mock assessment guys. It will give you lots of on-hand practice. Finish it in one go. You will know where you stand. So do a lot of practice. You have lots of online resources for that. And then come back and attempt the mock assessment once again to validate your practice. That's all about the written assessment. We'll go through the written assessment FAQs at the end of the video. So once your written assessment is over, you will soon receive a communication through your email. Make sure to check out the Nomi community from time to time for updates. The next is the interview round. If you are qualified for the DCA interview process, your respective BG or HR team will connect with you to schedule the interview. You will probably receive a confirmation call followed by an email update. The interview will be conducted online through MS Teams or WebEx video call. Do follow the TCS dress code for the video interview. The interview duration would be around 15 to 20 minutes might also get extended in some cases depending upon the interviewee. Next up, I will share some important frequently asked questions in the interview. First up, you should be prepared with a nice self-introduction. Keep it brief, not too short, not too long. Why TCS or about TCS? So you could go for something like TCS is a highly reputed MNC in IT industry and as a fresher, it offered growth and learning opportunity. It also offers opportunity to enhance and boost my learning skill and help me climb up my career ladder. 
do a little bit more of digging visit the dcs website and the latest news updates why you are the ideal candidate where do you see yourself in 5 years answer these questions keeping in mind that they should be aligned to your organization's goals and values if you answer this question that you see yourself at a senior position be ready to answer the roles and responsibilities of that position what's your project about and your daily job role so briefly describe about your project if you have had any client interactions mention it describe your daily job and responsibilities that you handle in the project know well about your project architecture what's the technology stack used in your project describes the tool used tell me something about your domain describe a recent challenge that you faced in work and how you overcome it what are your organization goals and values how do you invest your time outside work which language did you use to solve the dca coding question and why be ready to answer such kind of questions as well be it java python or c++ dig through the programming basic questions know your language very well what are the other digital skills that you possess are there any internships or certifications internal or external that you have done recently or are planning to do in the upcoming quarter you can rephrase your answer in such a way that it should portray that you might not have done any certification in the past or in recent times but you're planning to do it in the upcoming quarter did you attend any hackathons internal or external to tcs what are your aspirations what's your t factor what have you learned so far by achieving this t factor score and how do you plan on increasing it how would you rate tcs what was your approach for dca coding question have you conducted any workshops recently or have you attended any seminars or conferences in house or external recently These are the pretty much questions that I could come up with for you which are most frequently asked in the interview process. If you face some different interview question than those mentioned in the video, please mention in the comment below because it will help the candidates who are going to appear for interview. Also, if you appeared in TCS Digital Written Examination, share your experience in the comment section below. Moving forward to the last section, part four, we'll go through some FAQs and I'll share some tips with you. Once you have submitted your response, please make sure that your response are captured correctly. Do not click on Edit your response and submit again. This is for the survey I'm talking about. If you're unable to download the hall ticket, you can try clearing your cookies and browsing history and try again on different machine or an incognito mode. Associates who do not have their TCS IDs present with them, you need to follow the same process as the new joiners. Now let's go through some frequently asked questions. Selection is based on high overall score. If you're scored well in programming but not in some other section, you might not get shortlisted. Results will be shared in batches, so do not panic. Wait for your turn. If an associate's performance slips in the next appraisal cycle to C or D, the elevate incentives will stop from then on. Due to new COVID guidelines, I believe the recent examinations will be conducted online. Go through all the information that's shared with you in the Nomi community. That's all for this video folks. I hope you find the video helpful. I tried to cover maximum possible in this one single video for you. Please like the video and share it with your friends or peers who are appearing in the interview or might need this. Stay updated. You only need to give your best. I wish all the candidates who are going to appear in TCS Digital a very best of luck from my end. Thank you.